<laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the Join tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we are going to create a very simple design, as you can see, with the use of the join tool. So as you can see on the right hand side, we have a bunch of different lines and paths created with the line segment tool and pencil tools. And we are going to use the join tool to basically tidy these up and join up some of these paths to create a much more simplified design. So the join tool can be found over on the left hand side and it will sit underneath the shaper tool that we have here. So just clicking and holding on the shaper tool, you can find the join tool down at the bottom of this sub menu. And to start using it, we first have to select the paths that we want it to interact with. So with my selection tool, I'm going to just start by selecting the first two paths on this left hand side here. And this is because the join tool only deals with two paths at a time. So I'm going to select my join tool now. And what we can do is join up these two paths that are overlapping and get rid of the areas of path that are extending past the point at which they are intersecting. So all I need to do is click and drag across these two and as you can see they are now joined into a single path and those two sections have been deleted as well all with one action. Now up here we have a case where we now have two paths that aren't overlapping in any way but we can still use the join tool with them as well. So all I would need to do is again just clicking and dragging between the two Two of them that's essentially going to extend the line that we had that wasn't quite reaching the other path and it's going to join them up and again it's deleted the section that was sitting past that path as well so this is a very intuitive tool we've got another example here where we have a slight gap between the two paths here but again with the join tool I just need to click and drag over these and it's going to do a good job of joining them up and creating a corner so I'll just continue through this process so again just clicking and dragging across this it's going to get rid of those extruding lines again we have another example where we have two paths that aren't overlapping so I'll just click and drag across it doesn't have to be that perfect but it's still doing a pretty good job so what I'll do is just match our green line over on the left hand side moving on we've got some curved paths as well here so it doesn't have to just be straight lines it's really any paths that are overlapping or that you want to join up in some way with this all selected I'll just grab the join tool but as I I'll show you if I click over these two sections to get rid of them. It's going to join them up, but it's also going to deselect this path now. We do still have the rest selected though, so I'll just continue around here and then I'll have to go back to my selection tool to finish this up. So it can be a little bit annoying to continually go back to the selection tool to select other paths, but it's just the way this works. But as you can see here, it's doing a very good job of this. So on to the last section now. Again, with the join tool, that's going to get rid of that path and we're left with a single shape but that's it for the join tool. If you want to learn more about graphic design we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you're serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for and ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.